And my next guest says the movement that for years has fought for tolerance and gay rights is now turning into intolerant fascism. Nationally syndicated radio talk shows, Tammy Bruce is here to explain what she meant. You said fascist bullies. That's that's yeah. the actual term. Um, yeah. Why? Well, look, I mean, for all of us, we have embraced the civil rights movements of this country, which were about allowing people to live the lives that best suit them. For, for gay people, it was about living our lives decently without being attacked by others because we were different or because we refused to conform. And here we are now in the 21st century with Christians being attacked by gay bullies because they're different and they don't conform to the leftist narrative or to the leftist agenda. This is the antithesis of what the gay rights movement was about what every civil rights movement was about and it's not what we've been fighting for for generations it's a th it's something i think that americans see inherently as mean they're bullies this has nothing to do i don't know how shutting down christian businesses has anything to do with equal rights what? Uh, what, it, it casts us uh, as 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 bad people and it reverses any kind of progress i think we've made in the last couple of generations these are very strong words coming from you and, and i've known you for years yeah and you were once the the president of the national organization for women i think the los angeles chapter That's right. and uh you don't really speak out a lot about gay rights but when the issues come up you do talk about them well, I think and, being present's important, and you know, when it's when it's politically relevant, I discuss it. Yeah. But it is a private part of my life. But I've also been a community organizer all of my adult life on gay issues and on women's issues because I think that when when minorities' lives improve, all of our lives improve. So because, let me ask you: yes. so when, we keep hearing the example of the the baker and the and the mm -hmm. and the wedding cake or the florist and right. the flowers, and now you have pizza owners. Right. They have deeply held religious convictions. Yes. And they didn't want to rent out. I don't know who wants to rent a pizza parlor for a wedding, but I, you know that's that's besides the point. It's a hypothetical yeah. argument, a suggestion, yeah. almost as though you've got packs of wolves now targeting small Christian-owned businesses, saying, "Are you going to uh, negate your faith? Are you going to abandon what you believe in, or we will hurt you effectively? W will you conform?" But do you to agree our that they, they have the right to practice their faith that way, even if it is exclusionary? In other well, words, well, look, well, yes, but keep in mind. Let's let's what I say to, to some gay friends a lot is not everything is about us that this isn't about refusing service to a gay person. This is about a, a Christian individual not participating in an act that is against their faith. So even if you had uh, a heterosexual go in for a cake for a gay wedding, that person wouldn't get the cake either. Mm -hmm. So it's not refusing service to someone who's gay. It is the person who is unique who is not conforming, who is an individual, who is not, does not want to participate in an act that violates their faith. Now, of all people in the world who should understand the need to be respected for who we are, the risks at being different, the ability to make a living, and to be safe, it's the gay community. For us to put on to these small business owners this kind of totalitarian boot, uh, is clearly us becoming the monster that we were fighting against. Last question, what is your reaction to Hillary taking money from countries with these abysmal, abysmal human rights records? Well, look, my first book is called The New Thought Police, and it explained that sexism, racism, and homophobia live on the left. Uh, the Clintons are in large part what made me move away from the Democrat Party and become an independent because of the hypocrisy on the left. It's not just, look, this isn't about even gays. This is about leftist politics wanting to affect the election, divide Americans, and use uh, uh, minority groups, ride those backs to certain kinds of power and money. The Clintons have done it for years. The gay, they, well, the leftist gay community has done it. There's lots of good gays out there who are standing up against uh, the, the you, atrociousness you, of Last what's question, because I'm running out of time. Do you yeah. think, uh, I kind of view myself as the average person. I don't think most people really care what anybody's doing. I mean, we're kind of all yeah. self-centered in that way. Well, live and let do you think, live. Do you think that most Americans are tolerant? Because I believe they are. Yes. My, my life experience, even yeah. as a community organizer, they are. I'm a big fan of organizing and protest, however. But what Americans will reject, and I think the left has, has overreached here, is this kind of bullying, this kind of yeah. fascism in the name of equality, because That's it doesn't a, make sense. It's a powerful statement, and it's going to be interesting to see the reaction over time. Tammy, good to see you, by the way. Thank you, Sean. Congratulations on your move to... Thank uh, you. Snow for the first yes, time. Yes, loving it.